Hi, welcome to GameSpot Live. I'm Ryan Davis, the Associate Managing Editor for GameSpot VG. I'm here today to talk to you about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for the Sony PlayStation. Now, Neversoft, the company that developed the other version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for the PlayStation 2, simply doesn't have time to worry about the PlayStation version and has given the duties over to Shaba Games. Now, Shaba Games is the same company that brought us a uh, grind session for the PlayStation and uh, is the same company that finished Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX for the PlayStation. They're a solid action sports company and it shows in this port of Tony Hawk 3 for the PlayStation. The Tony Hawk series has pretty much used the same game mechanics for the last two years. So those who are familiar with it are going to feel right at home with Tony Hawk 3. Now Tony Hawk 3 for the PlayStation 2 included a lot of new game mechanics. Uh, only one of those has really made it into the PlayStation version, and that's the revert. The revert essentially works as the manual for vert tricks. When you're coming back in from a vert trick, you hit R2, go into a manual, and you can then chain together multiple vert tricks for bigger combo scores. Since the PlayStation doesn't have the same processing power or storage capacity of the PlayStation 2, Shaba Games has had to cut a lot of features to make it fit onto the PlayStation. The destructible environments that were found in the PlayStation 2 version of Tony Hawk 3 are no longer in the PlayStation version, such as the LA level where the freeway falls down. In the PlayStation version, it's already in its destroyed mode. Obviously, since the PlayStation doesn't have any sort of online capabilities, you can't play Tony Hawk online on the PlayStation. Some other changes that have been made, uh, you can no longer do multiple kick flips in uh, one try. You can no longer do multiple lip tricks. The tutorial mode it found in Tony Hawk 3 for the PlayStation 2 is gone entirely. The creative skater mode has been trimmed back significantly and is more akin to the creative skater mode found in Tony Hawk 2 than the deeper one found in Tony Hawk 3 for the PlayStation 2. A lot of the level objectives in the PS2 version of Tony Hawk 3 were dependent on the destructible levels. Since you're not able to do that in the PlayStation version, Shaba Games has had to make significant changes to the way the levels function and to a lot of the level objectives. Right now, obviously, the PlayStation 2 is the most dominant console. And we've got the GameCube and the Xbox coming right around the corner. With all this new hot hardware, it can make it pretty tough to even look at an original PlayStation game. Fortunately, Shaba Games is pretty nimble when it comes to dealing with the hardware and gets just about everything that they can out of it. The environments look good and are about as big as the ones in the PS2 version, which is pretty surprising since they are significantly larger than those found in Tony Hawk 2. The Tony Hawk games have always been lauded for their incredible soundtracks, and Tony Hawk 3 is no different. Some of the most noteworthy bands that are on the game include the Ramones, Del the Funky Homo Sapien, Motorhead, AFI, Ozzo Motley, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. It's really well balanced and it keeps the game from getting stale. In the end, it's really unfair to compare the PS2 and PlayStation versions of Tony Hawk 3. They're simply not in the same league. However, compared to just about any other skateboarding game for the PlayStation, Tony Hawk 3 rates really high. It's way, way up there. If you're not ready to commit to the PlayStation 2 just yet, but you've grown tired of Tony Hawk 2 at this point, there's nothing wrong with picking up Tony Hawk 3.